small hospital from Canada, proposed to me and I accepted and we, we got married there, right there in Landsberg in this camp. In and year? then we came here. What year? 19 in the, um, <laughs> in a, a, April, ninth, one second, 9th of April, 1945. 45. 46? 1946, see I mixed up the dates, I can't help it. 1946. What was your wedding like? The wedding was an Andra. The Andra made my wedding. Uh, people who worked for Andra, so they prepared such a beautiful wedding. And all the Andra personnel, all the uh, people that worked for Andra, you know, ha were invited. Some of my friends, and uh, there was. We had even an orchestra in our camp. Where every night we went dancing and so on. After the war, we could enjoy ourselves. And they said that they would like to come and play at my wedding. And I said, no. I lost my parents. I don't want to. I didn't want any music. But they came just the same. They came. They didn't listen to me. And they played at my wedding. You know, the or it's the local camp orchestra <laughs> played. And, uh, and there were a few people, our personnel, naturally, my, a few of my friends. What was your dress uh, like? Your wedding dress? Uh, my wedding dress? Somebody else got married before me. I don't know how she got the wedding dress, and she, I borrowed it from her. Every little thing that I wore was borrowed, because we didn't have any stores, yet we didn't have any money. We couldn't <laughs> buy anything, you know? So this is the story, you know. I had a borrowed dress, I had a borrowed veil, even shoes, everything was borrowed. But my brother-in-law, who was the chief, under chief of the uh, Austrian zone, came to the wedding. He came to the wedding. So that was nice for my husband, that he had his brother there, you know. And uh, we celebrated. I was very lucky, let me tell you, very lucky.